You know what combos have started to remind me of in this game? They remind me of commercial breaks, whether it's YouTube or a TV show. It's this shitty interlude that nobody really wants to watch, and it kind of gets in the way of what you were trying to enjoy in the first place. And then when you stand back up, it's like, Welcome back, everybody. Before the break, we were trying to condition this shitty devil gin into ducking some hop kicks. Let's see what happened next. It's no secret that a lot of players feel like combo damage is a bit too high and combos are a bit too long in this game, certainly too time consuming. And the solution that Nanko came up with for season four was to just lengthen the health bar for everybody. I went from thinking that was a dumb solution to thinking it was a pretty elegant solution to realizing that it's obviously the only thing they could have done because the only alternative is to go in and recalibrate the combo damage of 50 plus characters. And that's way too much work for Bandai Namco. They would prefer to make a golden skin for a customization item that already exists and then sticking that in the store for a couple of dollar dues. Now, an idea that often comes up when people talk about recalibrating combo damage in Tekken is the removal of soft resets, so a combo system with no bound or no spin mechanic. And the two big examples we have of something like that being implemented in a game like Tekken are uh, Tekken Revolution and Soul Calibur VI, two games that I really enjoy comboing in. Um, so I started thinking about it this morning. What would happen if we just did not have spin in Tekken 7? I thought about it a lot, and I decided to do a bit of an experiment. Can I pull off decent combos with the characters that I play or that I happen to know how to combo with uh, without using spin? So I made a little compilation with what I came up with. Maybe we should have a look at that now, and then when we come back, we'll talk about what I learned from it. Yo, yo. So those are just some of the suggestions that I came up with for characters that I happen to play. If you play these characters and you have other suggestions, then let me know and give me combos for your favorite characters. Maybe we could find out what character would be best at comboing off of a standard launcher in a non-spin system. But like I said, I only did this because I wanted to get a feel for what role spin really fills in the game right now and what it would feel like if it just wasn't there. And I think I did get a good sense of that, even though it's definitely not a perfect experiment, because of course, this game was designed with spin in mind, and these characters and their combos were balanced with spin in mind. 
predictably a character like Lars is still very good, and predictably a character like Zafina is still pretty shitty at comboing, because with her they did that DLC character thing where they heavily nerfed her combo damage shortly after release, only uniquely with Zafina for DLC characters, there was no need to do that because her combo damage was already kind of shitty, and now it's just really clunky and shitty. And I think the best one overall is probably Negan, he still got full damage and great carry without really relying on spin, which was interesting. But, okay, what does spin really do in this game right now? Because I don't think it's only about, like, lengthening combos. It's also about the sort of democratization of combo damage, right? Because you have characters that are bad at comboing and characters that are very good at it. And if they all have some floaty mids and some reasonably damaging strings, you can use spin to kind of pull everybody towards the center and smooth out combo damage differences across the cast. Even so, right now, I think the weakest characters in the game do around 55 or 56 for a 15 frame launcher and the very strongest characters in the game do about 75 so it's still a discrepancy of about 20 points which i actually think is really big in this game um, and you could have that difference be smaller by just making combos do less damage overall because then there's less space for that discrepancy to exist inside of but the other thing that I think Spin does that is actually very important, and one of the reasons I honestly think that Spin maybe should stick around now, is that it allows you for a lot more strategy when it comes to walls and wall carry. And this is such a big part uh, of Tekken, and if it wasn't there, I don't think it would feel like Tekken uh, anymore. Because you can use Spin at a certain point in your combo when you're strategizing in terms of positioning with the wall or wall carry. You can Spin early, or you can Spin late. Um, and I think getting that right and manipulating or, or converting your combo based on that is like a, a huge and really satisfying part of Tekken. And you kind of lose the ability to do that when there's no spin. So that's pretty big. Another thing that I noticed is that it really uh, felt a bit sad to not have that really satisfying chunky spin hit in the middle of the combo. They felt a little bit lukewarm without that sort of thing. Uh, which was kind of surprising to me because, like I said, I really enjoyed comboing in uh, Tekken Revolution and, and Soul Calibur 6. So I looked at those games and I thought about that and there are a couple of things you could do to make combos feel a bit more chunky and satisfying even though they don't have spin. And one idea that I came up with, uh, maybe it's a bad idea, I haven't thought that much about it yet, but in Tekken Revolution, some moves had this property where they could kind of become a sort of critical hit, and they had a, a cool light show, like um, Elisa had the Sad Hound, which is which is her sweeping low, you know, the tie your shoes thing, and it would be like, you know, a, a light show of purple and green, because those are the colors of her standard hit spark, and it just made the move more powerful. Um, something that could be really cool is if you could uh, sort of empower one move that you do per combo, maybe by pressing a call, uh, another button at the same time, kind of like a Roman Cancel or Tag Assault in Tekken Tag 2, and then you get, you know, some lights and some extra damage, maybe some extra properties on one individual hit in your combo. So in that Negan combo, maybe you save it for the final uh, bat swing with Lucille, and you send them further and you do more damage, or maybe you want to do it really early, to get as much damage as possible on a, a hit with less scaling early in the combo or something like that. I think we could add, you know, texture and chunkiness to the combos and make them feel more satisfying without having them be just so long and so damaging but overall I think combo length actually felt very reasonable and a lot less frustrating uh, without spin I actually think it, it sort of did the job of making them less of a commercial break uh, that you just have to sit there and watch I guess the difference between a commercial break on YouTube and a combo in Tekken is that YouTube videos essentially exist as a delivery system for um, commercials. That's kind of their purpose, you know, uh, depending on your perspective. But the, th the fact that a, a YouTube video can be sort of entertaining or informative is kind of collateral in the grand scheme of things. But in fighting games, they don't exist for the purpose of showing people combos. I think their primary purposes are you know, uh, hopefully being entertaining or at least reasonably competitively interesting. And they can definitely be that. They can be fun and interesting and deep without having these combo systems that uh, really break up the pace and feel unnatural with respect to um, the health bar, the length of the round, 
um, the size of the stage and just what you're able to psychologically keep up with and stand uh, as a human being. So just a couple of ideas that I had, uh, things I was thinking about today. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next one.